Hello and welcome to the Don Casa Circuit YouTube. Uh, we started this thought for the day uh, as a way of encouraging ourselves with the Christians of Don Casa Circuit and uh, probably those others who read uh, this YouTube. Uh, in these unprecedented times, these difficult times, in the light of uh, the threat that is uh, come to the world, the threat of uh, coronavirus, uh, sometimes called uh, COVID-19. This threat is with us and is real. We are continuing to lose people. And we need to encourage ourselves with the word of God. I'm thinking of a man called David, the one who wrote the Psalms. David was a man who knew threat uh, as a shepherd boy out in the bushes. He had been threatened by lions, he had been threatened by wolves, he had been threatened by enemies, people trying to steal the sheep. He was threatened even by climatic conditions, sometimes scorching heat, sometimes uh, rainy season when you are out there, uh, no umbrellas, of course, in those days, no place to shield yourself, uh, to shelter yourself. So this was a, a boy, this was a man who knew threat. Threat was real for David. He probably also knew uh, not so much threat, but taunts from his own brothers. <laughs> Being a last born, you can imagine what uh, probably was going on, that he would be taunted by his own brothers. And so I'm looking at the book of Psalms 121. And David writes and says, I look to the mountains from where does my help come from? And he answers his own question and he says, My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not let you fall. Your protector is always awake. The protector of Israel never dozes nor sleeps. The Lord who guard you he is by your side to protect you. The sun will not hurt you during the day, nor the moon during the night. The Lord will protect you from all danger. He will keep you from he will keep you safe. He will protect you as you come and as you go. I like the first line of this psalm. He says, I will look to the mountains, I will look to the hills, where my help comes from. See, the mountains and the hills were associated with the abode of God. Uh, God was seen as manifesting the God self through the mountains. You remember the Old Testament, Moses would go to receive the commandments from God uh, from Mount Sinai, on top of Mount Sinai. Do you remember Jesus would uh, withdraw with his disciples? Uh, just before he was crucified, he withdrew with the three of his disciples. And he spent the whole night praying on top of the mountain. So mountains were seen as uh, places where the deity, where God would must manifest in God's self. And I like what David says. He says, I'll look to the hills where my help comes from. Indeed, sometimes we can, uh, because of the threat that is ours, uh, we can forget where our help comes from. Not so with the David. He knew where his help came from. And it came from the Lord. He says, the protector of Israel, you know, uh, will neither, does not sleep, does not slumber. That God is on top of all situations. 
God is uh, he has power over situations. I want to encourage the people of God in the light of this threat that is threatening us around the world. That we will not give up. We are a people of hope. We will look up. We will look up to God. We will commit ourselves to the masses of God. And we are going to continue to pray that God will give the doctors the scientific community knowledge uh, to come up with a cure for this threat, to come up with, with, with the, something that will contend uh, and route this uh, threat that is ours. <laughs> and so this morning, ours is to encourage ourselves. This is Lent, and Lent is that period when we are reminded of Jesus who went through so much for us, for us. The Bible says that God came, Jesus came to give us life and give it abundantly. And so I want to encourage Christians in the Don Casa circuit and elsewhere that we will not give up, we will look up, we will look up to God. Let us pray together. Lord God, the one who made the heavens and the earth, we offer ourselves to you afresh. And we pray, O oh God, that in the light of this threat of a coronavirus, you show your stro yourself strong and we will emerge out of this situation victorious. And when we look back, we we'll say, surely, God was with us in the midst of that crisis. We offer this prayer in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. <laughs>